All right, all right, all right. Yo, crowd, I got another question for you. Who likes Josh Brody? Wow. I'm sorry, Josh. I love you. Who loves Wizrobe? Well, that's what we got. So clearly, y'all don't love Josh that much. So let me bring in Fry's Electric Wizrobe. Hey, yo, Rizzy. I know I asked you this last year, but can you do it a little bit? Are you ready to jam it, man? Uh. Thank you, Wizzy. <laughs> can I get. <laughs> Can I get Josh Brody on stage? <laughs> All right, so clearly, Wizzy is a man of few words, but I know you are not. What do you got to say to the crowd, man? Uh, I've lost to this guy about a million times, but I never lose to anyone a million and one times, so I'm feeling good. All right, man, I'm glad. I'm glad that comes. Good luck to you. Dark Horse and Lord Toko take away. I challenge the fact that he's actually lost to him a million times. I feel like he might be exaggerating a little bit. Maybe a tad. Yeah. Maybe a tad. So I, I do think he's right that he will not lose a million and one times because I just I don't think they'll play that many times. Like that's, probably, that's a lot of sets. You are probably right about that. I don't know. I'm not going to do the math right now, but you know, if yeah. a set is 12 minutes and you play a million times, it's a lot of like minutes. A, it seems like a long time. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that uh, if they were to attempt such the game would probably be probably be dead by then yeah probably <laughs> because crts won't exist anymore yeah that would be the problem they'll, they'll all know, just... it's an endangered species yeah so it could be rough they'll all just fall to dust um <laughs> oh i was like i know wizzy's not warming up with falcon yeah uh josh likes to go fox and pools now um and we went he went fox and doubles hmm. you know shears or actually beef beef said that there was no way we would beat them if josh didn't play pika so, of course, Josh didn't play Pika. Of course not. So we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's been playing a lot of Fox and, like, friendlies and um, some of the, some weeklies mm -hmm. and pools. There's zero chance he plays Fox in this set. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wasn't really expecting to see a Fox yeah, yeah, versus yeah, Falcon in this situation. Or Fox versus uh, no, Yoshi in this situation. I don't really know that matchup very well. Um, Contrary to popular belief, we actually have, like, no Yoshis in Wisconsin. Oh, really? The only one that we have is uh, Neku, who actually goes by the, a new tag, Hitsu. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he played Falcon in that pool. And then the pool one pool match. match that was on stream, he played Falcon. Yeah. Um, where's he's, Fumbles from? Fumbles? He's not from Wisconsin. Okay. I, I don't the know. Midwest guy, though? Probably. I'm not, I'm not sure. Probably. He, just, I just, he was another Yoshi I saw. Yeah. And then, yeah, you really don't have many. I mean... Granted, we, we just have Shears, yeah. which is, is pretty decent Yoshi practice. Yeah. Um, he's kind of a robot. He does the same thing every time. Mm -hmm. And honestly, so is Wizro. Wizro is very, very like methodical, very robotic, does the same things a lot. His things are just better. Yeah, just more optimal. They, yeah, they work very well. Yeah. Those DJC um, back airs are <laughs> dangerous. Yeah, I mean, you'll see Wizzy. He'll, he'll hang out under the side plat and back air a lot. Um, if Josh goes or whoever he's playing goes to take the top flat, he will try and sneak in up airs. He actually will like challenge the top flat. Yep. Um, him and Karaba are some of the only Yoshis that really do that yep. successfully. It's it's. Um, I think most Yoshis kind of see it as like a lost cause because even if you sneak in that up air, there's nothing to follow yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it. like getting getting some damage is always nice. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, you're right. You don't really have follow ups off of it. And Yoshi's one of those few characters where it doesn't really matter if they're at a high percent because you have so many hard hitting moves that come out quick that yeah. it, it's you don't have to rely on combos like a lot of characters do in certain matchups. Yeah, it, I mean, you don't have to rely on combos. Man, Yoshi has some brutal combos. <laughs> yeah. He does have combos, but I'm just saying, like, he doesn't have to rely on no, them. No, no, he does not have to rely on them. Oh, uh, you rack up some damage, you connect you connect uh, an, an up smash, like, yeah. you're good. <laughs> yeah. like, Yoshi's head is invincible, and, like, all of his attacks that use his head, so, like, you just abuse that. Yep. Um, tech chases with dash attack are really strong. Yep. That Forward tilts, those double, those double jabs. Yeah. So, sneaking in those up airs is not a bad thing, but I think a lot of Yoshis just see that as like, okay, I get some quick damage, but then I'm not getting my combos, you know? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not getting those highlights of the week, yeah. you know? So, I don't know. Everyone, everyone wants the highlight. Everyone wants the highlight. I mean, you saw Boom. Boom? He's just going for highlights. <laughs> 
I don't even think he was trying. I think there was He's just, just boom. like it's just boom. It's just boom. Just boom being boom. Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh you know, the 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 usual headphone shenanigans right now. Was yeah. he you know, he's just trying to get his stuff plugged in. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. cleaning his and glasses. And we had you know, the, the headsets that were provided for all the competitors yesterday from mm -hmm. Bear Dynamic. I mean, they're great. They're super comfortable. Some of the most comfortable headsets I've worn. Yeah. Um and the noise canceling was ridiculous. <laughs> like even being on our stage next to Arms and Dragon Ball, which were just going crazy yeah. the entire day. I mean, these guys were screaming <laughs> the whole time. We're like, yeah. yo, isn't this pools? And they're, they're just like going ham. Um, but you put those headphones on and like, it's like they weren't there. FGC can get loud. FGC yeah. can get very loud, very rowdy. Really it's not a bad thing sometimes. It's, fu it's, it's fun. But, um, I, when I was playing, when I was on stage and playing, I didn't really notice them. But I was when I was just sitting there running the stream, I just kept looking over and like, all right, all right, guys, can you calm down? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going into it. Oh, no, no, it's just warm-ups. Yep. Was, yet, he, was yet, he still man. getting ready? He, he has a, a ritual uh, of just taking a really long time to get ready. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, kind of a big joke at this point with Wizzy taking a long time. Um, you know, just getting things like his headsets plugged in and all yeah. that stuff. And like when uh, when I'm running, when I'm doing like the 64 stream and everything, like I know Wizzy's coming. Yeah. I'm like I'm ready for it. I have I have my headphone splitter ready. He could just plug in his headphones. He's good. Um, of course, when this happened on I think it was Friday. I forget which day it was. Yeah, it was Friday. Mm -hmm. Playing pools, and um, I think the CRT had crushed one of the cables. Oh, so then no. I just had to like swap out all this stuff. So it actually wasn't Wizard Room's fault. Yeah. <laughs> um, we actually had like it was real just technical difficulty. Coincidence. But yeah, like you know, Smash Con and Genesis. Like I'm ready for Wizard Room. I know he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he comes up with like all his equipment. I'm like, nope, we're good. Just plug in right here. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wizard Room, man, a few words, but very good at what he does. Earlier he was a man of no words. Man of zero. Last year he had like the whole rap, right? That was here. Like I didn't Sham see that. Lamb, but, uh, he had like some thing. I don't I know didn't, if it was I didn't see CEO. That. I couldn't remember. I, I really, uh, I really wish funny, we though. could bring up like a clip of that. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, we already have some solid interview clips coming uh, from this. Oh, right, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> We're no going into warm -ups. it. Wizzy leaning in. Josh leaning in. Wizzy taking port one. He's like, he knows he has. He got the 19xx with the uh, the neutral the neutral spawns. Oh yeah. Like, I can take whatever port I want. <laughs> Normally, it's 2-4, uh, for those that don't know. Um, that oh, the tech chase into the F tilt. Nice. And uh, I was saying, Yoshi can tech chase with dash attacks, but if he's close like that, yeah, you just you get that F tilt. And you see Josh going with a lot fair. of forward airs. Yep. Because, uh, I mean, Wizzy's just going to keep trying to armor everything. Yep. Um, but yeah, you go in with the forward air, you get something. You get some damage, and it's a multi-hit move, so you can't really... You can't really... You can't parry it. Parry it, yeah. Um, a lot of Yoshis, like Wizzy, though, they, they know the timing of the move. Mm -hmm. So the moment the last hit of the forward air comes out, he's there with the nair. Yeah. It's it's a difficult neutral Down for... Down yeah, Can't shield on a side plat. Absolutely against not. Against Yoshi or Samus. Oh. Yeah. Smash Wizzy was not confident that uh, another F tilt would connect. Mm -hmm. So he just went for the forward air, even though yep. it wasn't going to be a get, stock. Get the damage... Cause him to stop on the on the ground. And Josh, he was trying to do Hopefully something a little attack. tricky there with the recovery, but Wizzy was able to um, react to it. Gets the grab. Forward air on side plat. Yep. Wasn't able to get Wizzy actually DI'd out. Wizzy, uh, his DI has gotten a lot better in the last like year or so. I think he realized that even though he plays Yoshi, he does need to DI. Oh, just barely misses that. Yeah, That's a forward air. So Josh knows that that'll break armor really early. Yep. I don't remember the percent. But it's much earlier than any of, any of Pika's other moves. Yep. But when you miss, <laughs> when you miss... It's the it, worst thing you can do. It puts you in a very bad position against against Yoshi. Yeah. Against most characters, but definitely Yoshi. Yes. All right. Gets that up tilt. Gets the grab. Back throws. Forward air on side plat. And you saw, was he actually parried the first hit of that and then just shielded the rest? <laughs> Up smash. He tried getting the turnaround to hit him to the right. Yeah, he, uh, he wanted that stock, but sent him to the left and didn't get it. Dash attack. Josh wasn't sure if he had a jump, so he just dash attack. Yep. Good. Get him off stage. Extra damage. Safe. That's a good idea. 
so that's something Wizzy will do a lot. He'll go with a bunch of back airs, mm -hmm. and then when you're when you think that third back air is coming, he'll dash attack. <laughs> that's smart. Um, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't want you to get too much of a read on him. See, he just did it again. Two back airs into a dash attack. This is that forward air. Gets that dash attack just barely. Tries to read the the zip to ledge. He'll also do that. He'll do the rising back air into a falling back air. Yep. Um, I mean, Wizzy is an incredible player, uh, but he, ha he has some big patterns. Yeah. Um, and if you can catch on to him, uh, really take advantage. And I mean, Josh has done it before in one of the Florida events. I don't remember if it was SC69 or CEO. Mm -hmm. or one of those, um, he did take a set off Wizro. It was his, his one set. Other than that, he's taking games. But yep. I think that is his only set. Well, we'll see if he can actually come back here and maybe make a, make a comeback, get that free game victory. Yeah, we need something that's not a 3-0. Yeah, uh, but again, you cannot, you cannot you shield, shield on, the... on that side plat. Wizzy doesn't know it. he's at zero percent. Uh, it's kind of tough on Pika. Yeah. With that smash, yeah, he was able to get out of the major part of the punish. Um, yeah, but also at zero, most hits, though. Pika's just going to uh, up B out after yep. the first hit. Okay, gets up that smash. No, I thought we were going to see a parry up smash. Pika at eighty six. Gets that grab, grabs him out of the jump. Grabs him out of the jump again. Josh ran away to make it seem like it was safe. And I know he's shaking his head, at least on the inside. Got that F smash. Oh no, the egg sends him off stage. Zips so, to ledge, he's fine. Now Wizrobe is at percent where Pika back air will break armor. That's what Josh was waiting for. Mm -hmm. it, he's either 72 or 76, I can never remember. Pika's so much more of a threat when, when Yoshi's at, this, at that percent. But... <laughs> He gets that up tilt to up air. Up tilt is always set knockback, so it doesn't matter how how much percent he has on him. It's always going to... Can't no. shield on the side plate. All you can do is uh, DI up yep. on the up tilt. There you go. Wizzy up tilts. came up with something this time for the 0%. Yep. Oh, that might be a down air. Or down, down B. Back air. It looked like Wizzy couldn't make up his mind there. He, like, hesitated and then went for the reverse back air. Does he have a jump? He does. Didn't use it. Oh, parries the, the up smash. smash. It was actually a reverse up smash. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. Was he up two stocks, but at back air percent? Is that a double jump? No. Nope. Oh. Was he so good about saving his double jump? Oh, down tilts. Up tilt probably would have caught. Now, top flat, he can shield. Yes. Uh, it's very hard for Yoshi to follow up with a down air off the top okay. flat. Finally hits him out of that jump. Um... It's going to be the stock for him. His first stock of the second game. Was he with a pretty comfortable lead here? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's up one stock, um, which can melt away. But Josh really hasn't been able to get anything going yet. And there's another a shield, shield break, break that doesn't involve a down air. Up smash. That'll kill. All right. Now with a decently comfortable lead here. Just jumps out of that. All right. Double, Double up smash, Nair, Nair back, back here. Yeah, nice. great combo from Josh. Um, and Yoshi's heavy enough that double up smash just puts him in a great position. And you actually saw Wizzy diing in, thinking he could like get through Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, but it just made the combo easier for Josh. And like you said, he was working on his DI, so maybe that wasn't the best option. D no, and, and DIing away, there's a good chance he still would have gotten comboed anyway. Yeah. I, I understand just going for it. I guess pick your poison. Yeah. All right, so he's off stage. Gets hit by the egg. That should be it. Yeah, yep, that'll be the Pikachu's spot. too far away. It's it's rare, but Pikachu can be too far away to recover, <laughs> especially without a jump. And that's the thing about like we say like oh Wizzy might maybe be able to di away in that combo. Yeah. But I mean Yoshi's Yoshi's recovery doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> so when you're if you're far away and trying to get back, the other person should just grab ledge, and you really Yoshi <laughs> far away is has a bad recovery. Yes. Um, you just you have like no options, um, so trying to di in and maybe get through the combo is almost Wizzy's only option. Yeah. Three, Wizzy's right. up two games to nothing. This might be the fourth 3-0 that we see today. This is about to be the. I'm gonna jinx it. I don't care though. This is about to be the fastest 64 top eight <laughs> ever. Well, it's okay because we started a little late. Yeah. All right, get some pretty good damage. Misses that tech read. Very this is surprised the up Josh opted for an up air there. This is the fifth shield break 
Look at Josh just going ham on his control that stick. That was a very, oh very interesting comment from Wizzy. Uh, adapting to Josh's DI perfectly. Four airs. Get up attack. Yeah. Gets him out of that. Wizzy tried parrying it. It was just a little bit off. It's like, you know, in melee, they crouch cancel to get up attack and punish. Here, he could have. He went for Forward the parry. Smash. Was that. Do you think that was a flub, or do you think he was just making a really hard read? I think he was wanted an up smash there. Ah. On the tech chase. He wanted to, like, turn around up smash. Okay. It's the back air. Up tilt. Up air. Follows it up with a back air that breaks the armor, but he just goes right back to ledge. Out of a jump. And just like you said, stocks can melt away, so this is not a. This is not really a huge yeah. lead for... I mean, for we've seen, like, virtual zero to death from both players here. Yeah. So Josh shielded there, and this time upbeat out instead of holding shield and getting down air. Very smart. He's adapting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gets that forward air. Gets the grab after the up smash on shield. Gets the back throw. Does yeah, it again. Just, Bad just position. Too early. Just yeah. too early there, and... He needs to mix up that recovery. Yeah. Um, gets, that, gets the grab. That's nice. Okay. Oh, that'll be a forward air. Another forward air. That's, okay. that's the sheer special right there. The double forward air on the side flat. Oh, that'll be the stock. He's out of a jump. It is only a one stock lead. Uh, we've seen Josh take a quick stock, but we've also seen him <laughs> lose them. <laughs> And that's the set. Wizzy takes it 3-0 over Josh. Um, Josh is, he seemed like he really couldn't get anything going Yeah. that set. Uh, he had that one combo. Um, one combo that was really great. Yeah, it was great. It worked out. Um, he had the, the double up smash, carried him off stage, got the back air. Um, but then you saw him.